Hello guys, welcome to the second episode of the Build a Web API in ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using a MVC client also in ASP.NET Core 3.1. In my first episode, I introduced my YouTube community members about the salient points and highlights of this application which will consist of a single solution having two projects in Visual Studio 2019. I will build it from scratch and walk you through the code explaining everything in the process. The essential links and scripts you will find in the video description. I strongly encourage you all to start with the first episode before coming to this one. I also request you to view the entire video in all these episodes to get the best out of them. As always, every suggestion and feedback is welcome and please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in the uploads. So let's go over to the learning outcomes. So the learning outcome is that we shall be able to create a web API project with empty template in Visual Studio 2019 using ASP.NET Core 3.1 framework. And this project will be the base of our project, which will be a combination of a web API project, as I introduced in the last lecture, and which will be consumed in the same solution by an ASP.NET Core MVC client. So let's switch over to Visual Studio now. So on to Visual Studio 2019 and create a new project. So these are my recent project templates. So I'll click on here, ASP.NET Core Web Application. Click on Create, Next. And I'll have to give it a suitable name and I will give this project name as Web API. But my solution name will be different because this solution will hold the both the projects, the Web API as well as the MVC client project. So I will name it suitably. So Web API Core MVC client with the project name Web API and click on create and I don't need to place the solution and project in the same directory. Okay, so I will keep it unchecked and then click create. So on this create a new ASP.NET Core web application, I'll select the ASP.NET Core 3.1 which is already selected .NET Core and then empty and click on create, configure for HTTPS and then create. To take a be wild for creating the project and we'll come back when the project is completed. So my project is created Web API within this solution, Web API Core MVC client. So in this lecture, we have seen how the starting point of creating a Web API using ASP.NET Core 3.1 and Visual Studio 2019 is done. So we'll come back again in the next lecture.